All right, master built cake freezer. Goodness gracious, these kids. Okay, so they said it's leaking and ruining cakes, which can confirm she's leaking. So in order to find what's going on, which is obviously that it's not draining properly, I'm gonna have to empty this guy. So let me get these moved to the freezer. Put this in a defrost and watch what the water does. All right, so dropping the tray gives us a really good perspective. Uh, I turned off the condensing unit, so I've still got my evaporator fans running. But this shows you that the last time this defrosted, all the water stayed in there until it found its spot to get out, which it looks like is focus right there. So we need to test the defrost heater and then moreover the defrost heater is going to be fine. This is going to be our problem. So you got a drain line heater here. Well, that probably has become our rascal. Let's see. All right. Into the defrost. Now well, while we are in a defrost, I'm clamped on to that heater and we got nothing. I can feel the heaters on. Sometimes these are real funny. I saw a walk-in heater that this, or a walk-in freezer that this turned off when, uh, let's put it back into. Now you have to watch because sometimes um, these thermals, they're just a matter of uh, contrast, right? So you can see my heater is surrounded by ice, so it's glowing red, and it's 80 degrees. Well, up here, you got, there's my drain line heater, and you can see it also looks like it's glowing red, but it's 27 degrees, because what's around it is just pure ice. So the ice around it is 19, 16, so, you put, none of that's above freezing. Well, 34, 36, oh, that's, that's catching my loop. That's my heater. That's the physical heater heater, right? This is my drain line. Let's go back and I'm gonna chase the wiring, find where it's connected into, and make sure we are getting our voltage to it, but. Just pulled that out of its tube and you can see it is gum boogered up. So I think it may be heating and our truly our tube is just clogged. So behind this unit, here's a drain pan. And you can see she has not drained in quite some time. So there's a P-trap on here, an S-trap. So Let's get on the front side and blow it out. Now that we know it's dry, see if we don't get it clean. Sad I won't be able to do this live because I can't hold all this in place, but obviously you know what that is. A little CO2 drain blower. So let's blow this out and then go look in the pan. I heard it clear. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Uh, now we got goo in there. All right, so now I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna close it up and then I'm gonna put it in a defrost and we're I'm not gonna connect this yet because I want to watch it physically drain from here. All right, I just turned the compressor back on. I left, there was chunks of ice in there and I actually want that. I'm gonna get all this wiped down so it doesn't drip on what's in here. And then I've done another video. This happens a lot on these units. This has to be siliconed up with a sealant that's going to hold at 20 below, which they do sell, but. So we're gonna let this freeze up again. I'm gonna let the temp pull way down. Once it satisfies, I'm gonna put it in a defrost. Then we're gonna look back there, make sure it's draining, and we'll put Humpty Dumpty back together. Well, I can see that's a beautiful thing already. This is a well-loved tube, but this actually um, is what we use in the ice cream machines for sealing up inside the barrels because it has to be 10 below. So 
so you can see this is actually good to negative 70 below Fahrenheit. So this is the silicone we're going to use to remount this bracket and then I'm actually going to put a pan underneath it to hold it up and tight to keep upward pressure on it until it totally is good. See if I get the money. Alright, so here's what I got. You can't shortcut this process. So I've got the uh, silicone all the way around. Leaking inside. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. So yeah, it was. So the ice was, the water was coming here, and then this was the low spot. It was dripping down, making all this. So we're gonna knock this off of here. Get that back put on. Oh yeah. All right. Well, she is draining now. You can see. And then for those of you who have never seen this, there's a float in here. So this is plugged in to its own outlet. I'm going to hit this float. So when the water hits a certain level, the float goes up, the heater energizes. So let's see if the heater still works. Oh yeah. Yep. So the heater energizes and starts boiling off the water. And you can see the steam already. 